Back in the 17th century, the relationship between the U.S. and indigenous tribes was quite tense. The life of St. Kateri Tegawita reflected this struggle. Her mother, who was a Christian, was captured by members of the Mohawk tribe. She then married the chief of that tribe, and from that union, Kateri was born. Unfortunately, uh, her mother died when Katri was only four years old, but it is assumed that uh, Kahenta was her name, uh, sang songs to Kateri, sort of planted some of the first seeds about the Christian faith in her young daughter. Matthew Bunsen has actually authored several biographies of different saints, but he says the life of Kateri is a true model for young people. He says her life shows that holiness is possible for everyone universality of holiness, that you will find saints in every corner of the world, but also how young people can be called to holiness. Let's not forget that uh, Kateri died at the age of 24. She's been dubbed the Pocahontas of the Catholic Church. The author of her biography says she built a bridge between Native Americans and Christians. Kateri herself uh, represents that beautiful union of the, the Native American love of nature, of apprising that which is good and beautiful in, in the wilderness. After converting, Kateri was persecuted by her tribe. She never doubted her faith, but she did flee to Canada. Now, as a saint of the Catholic Church, her biographer says she can inspire others to follow her footsteps by seeking holiness in their everyday lives.